Howdy folks, Max Mogren here, oilfreefun.com. Got this excellent Skywatch time lapse uh, series here that a friend in Germany just put up. And I'd like to share it with you, make a little commentary uh, as we watch it together. Notice how some of those planes are leaving lingering trails while other planes uh, leave a normal contrail that dissipates quickly. Also notice that uh, those trails that stay that linger and spread and form a high hazy cloud layer <clears throat> they, some of them have abrupt starts and stops and you know they're clearly not natural you can see kind of bulbous formations growing off of them shortly after they're initially laid down and again important to note that those trails linger spread and form a high cloud layer. Most of those planes are flying at 30 to 40,000 feet, which is where cirrus clouds generally form. <clears throat> According to NASA, and basically the scientific consensus, is that these high, thin cirrus cloud layers are, have a greenhouse warming impact. You know, those are icy clouds. They're so high that it's not liquid water, it's solid water when those get laid down. So a lot of the sun's rays get through but then the infrared, the heat radiating back out into space, gets trapped. Uh, here we can see some interesting kind of scalar wave cloud formations in the center and a whole lot of trails laid down. There we see a recently laid down trail uh, spreading and some normal planes leaving normal contrails in the vicinity. Uh, if you use flight tracking websites like Plane Finder, there's a whole host of these sites. You can actually track commercial air traffic and private air traffic as well. Military flights are not included in there. But you can see that some of these planes leaving the lingering spreading trails are commercial aircraft, whether they're uh, passenger planes or, uh, you know, cargo planes. Some of these ones leaving lingering trails are, in fact, commercial aircraft. And what's interesting, the ones that leave the normal contrails that dissipate quickly, uh, if you study the sky and have a smartphone with this, this flight tracking software in your hand at the same time, you can see that these planes are flying at very similar altitudes. You know, they're all flying about 35,000 feet, and they're all, you know, similar jet-driven aircraft. They're all burning the same jet fuel. So it really raises the question, why do some trails linger while other trails don't? And again, at any point in time, <clears throat> there are 10 to 12,000 planes in the skies around the globe. Uh, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. The average is 10 to 12,000 planes. So... Even if this was not an intentional program to manipulate the weather and climate, if this is, even if this was just normal airplane condensation, which I doubt it is, but just assuming this was, there was nothing covert about this, it was just good old-fashioned air pollution, this is having a profound impact on our weather and climate, and far more impact than the greenhouse gas CO2. You know, water is a greenhouse gas, too, and there is a lot more water vapor in the atmosphere. There you can see some natural clouds down low uh, with the spreading lingering clouds up high. Those weird uh, kind of ghostly cirrus clouds. But back to the point I was making, uh, water is much more prevalent in the atmosphere than CO2. There's 400 parts per million CO2 up there. And there is about 2% water vapor. So there's a lot more water up there. And these jets are not only emitting water vapor, but whatever chemicals are coming out of the back end are also inducing cloud formation. As we all know, uh, water exists in, in uh, the solid state in the atmosphere, in the liquid state, and in the gaseous state. And it's clear, it's transparent in the gaseous state. But as it turns into a solid or a liquid, it has different impacts on the weather and the climate. So 
any human activities that are changing the state of water in the atmosphere, turning this gaseous water into liquid or ice clouds, is going to profoundly impact our weather and climate. See for yourself. Look up. One love. Peace.